So we're getting ready to do the Taurus reading. This could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So we're going to see what do we have for the zodiac sign Taurus. It says, I know I was a distraction from your pain. I wish I could share my good news with you. It's time for me to heal now. So many things remind me of you. I wonder if you're if you are happy without me. Then it says at the bottom of the deck, I am so attracted to you. So whoever this person is, they're feeling like that whatever you went through or something like that, they could have knew that you went through something. This person is feeling like they were a distraction for some type of pain that you went through. Um, they have some type of good news that they want to share with you. And whatever it is that this person um, is happy about, whatever this good news is, this could have helped this person heal. Or it has that person wanting to change or, you know, heal something. And in the process, it's like that person is thinking about you. This is someone that's attracted to you and they're wondering if you're happy like without them. They could be, you know, observing you, watching you, um, trying to keep up with what's going on with you. Ace of Wands. So this person could have started started a new project or something like that. They're starting something over. This also can mean that this person have made a lot of growth. Like, you know, a lot of changes since the last time you seen that person. This is someone that realized their potential. And um, this could be a new beginning that they're having. Queen of Pentacles. And then the tower. And it's like somebody could be shocked about this sudden change that this person have made. This also could be somebody that this person like distanced their self from. They released their self from that person. And um, chaos could have been started. Like a lot of stuff could have came out. The lovers is here. And then you have the Empress in the reverse. So yeah, this could have been somebody that this could have been a lover um, that this person was attached to and they were blocking that person's creativity. This is somebody that's very selfish. Whatever it is that they want to obtain or accomplish, they're impatient. So it's like they do stuff to, you know, get whatever they want in a quick way. But they solely depend on other people to get it for them instead of doing it for their self. This is somebody that's unstable. They cannot concentrate on whatever it is that they need to do. And it keeps them in the uh, Empress in the reverse energy, unstable. This is, a t this is like a distraction. This is somebody that was sent to distract someone. So if they were attached to this person, person in a relationship that person was a distraction to like hold that person up um block their creativity so they wouldn't be able to you know be inspired to do something new or change that person could have definitely you know like put that person in depression 
had that person all over the place. They this could have been, you know, infidelity, like sneakiness as well. This is the type of person that they were dealing with. It's like they were just overwhelmed with whoever this energy is. Yeah, you have the devil on the bottom of the deck. This could have been a toxic codependent relationship. Whoever this person is, they could have fought with that person a lot. They could have lost a lot of stuff. They could have been abused by that person, used by that person. Um, it's like whoever that person is, this person is like a bully. They're rather take from people, you know, do ill will things to people. Because they have this lack of, um, they have like a creative block as well. They're blocked off from whatever it is that they want to manifest because of how they try to manifest it. This is somebody that's very low vibrational. Their loss, five of pentacles is here. It's like that person does not use their intuition. They're, they're used to vibing in a low vibrational energy. And they were trying to keep this person like, you know, in that same energy. This is what they were, you know, sent to do. Yeah, but this is something that needed to end out. The world is here. It's like they had to leave that person out in the cold because that person was sabotaging them. And they possibly did not know when they attached themselves to that person. They could have been in this um, devil energy, very shallow, living out of their, you know, shadow self, being lost um, spiritually and definitely codependent to whoever that person is. They could have shared the same addictions, you know, destructive patterns and different things like that. Two of Swords. And then the Nine of Swords. So it's like this person lied about something. And they ended up getting exposed. This is what ended the cycle out with whoever this person is. Because something blew up in somebody's face. It's like they were trying to keep something hidden or keep somebody like undecided or avoiding something. And it caused them to like be exposed for whatever they were doing. This is like their worst nightmare, being exposed this type of way. You have the Eight of Cups and then the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could have definitely like walked away from you and um, in order to balance their self out or balance something out in their life. This person needed to walk away from some type of bad investment um, and leave it behind. They have the six of wands. Yeah, this person, they feel like they've accomplished something after making this progress. King of Pentacles. And then the Knight of Wands. And it's like whoever this person is that they were attached to, this was just somebody that they were sleeping with. And um, they were being very immature. Like, they lay down with that person without even thinking. And they didn't realize they were picking up, you know, attachments. That was, you know, to, that was made to keep that person, like, stuck. Something to keep that person blocked off. The fool card... And this also is this person being very passionate to start over. You know, they're happy. They're ready to go on a new venture. And um, they're going towards a totally different direction than what they were on. Seven of Wands. And Queen of Swords. Yeah, something definitely backfired. And then the Star card is here. Something that you said could have backfired. Like if you said something and spoke the truth to this person, that could have backfired. 
And this could have, you know, helped this person heal. The hermit. And it's like, whatever you said, somebody could have thought that this person was coming towards you. They would be in this Knight of Wands energy. They would be, you know, you know, sleeping with you or something like that. But that person was blocked off from you. This is somebody that needed to take time to go within to investigate. They needed to heal. They needed to research. This person needed to find out the truth about why something took place. Why they attracted this person. Yeah, so they could heal. But that person was thinking that this person was running towards you for sex. Knight of Wands. It's because they were in that energy with that person. So, of course, they're going to think in a low vibrational energy. Four of Pentacles is here. And then the Hangman is here. Yeah. And it's like whatever you said that backfired. This person have been holding on to you. They're looking at you a whole nother way. They're viewing things differently. And they've been in this Four of Pentacles energy. It helped them make some type of change. This person has deep insight on whatever it is that took place because they took this time to go within to investigate. But yeah, they, they could be in this Four of Pentacles energy, but they don't trust anybody. They're being stingy with time, money, and energy. They're, they're also um, in the energy of holding on to you. Even if you're not attached to this person, this person is someone who um, is, you know, keeping their self attached to you. They're always thinking about you. And um, it's like this person could be praying a lot as well. Six of Cups is here. Yeah, it's like they could be praying to reconnect with you, to come in union with you with the Six of Cups. Reunite. The Sun card is here. Yeah, and they could have definitely prayed for something to be illuminated, like something to be exposed to them. Um, and this is how they found out the truth about something. So you have the Knight of Swords. And then the King of Swords. Yeah. It's like now they're in this King of Swords energy. This person is like moving quick. And if they distance themselves from this person, they found out the truth about something, that person is pissed. Four of Wands. And then two of cups, yeah. It's like they're coming towards you in this Knight of Swords energy. This is somebody that could have found out that you were their twin flame. Yeah, so this person could have found out that you were their twin. And um, this is why they're in this King of Swords energy. Somebody realized that they needed to make some type of head over heart decision. You know, be more disciplined. After gaining this mental clarity. Because they asked for some type of confirmation. And they received it. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah I'm hearing a promise. So this person could have made a promise. That they would get their self together. Or something like that. Or get out of this situation. Because they want to come in union with you. After finding out the truth. Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's like they definitely want to share some good news with you. And they also want to, they want to come towards you because they want this, you know, this new beginning. They want this new venture with you. Five of Cups is here. And then Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person could be in regret because they held on to a lot with the Nine of Wands being here. This could have been them holding on to a lot of stuff that they went through um, in this toxic karmic cycle. 
And now it's like they, they feel like they were being tested. This person needed to, you know, build their courage up, their strength up to overcome whatever this was that they went through. And learn how to, you know, set healthy boundaries. King of Cups. And then Eight of Swords. And then the Wheel of Fortune is here. And then the Musician is here. So it's like this person could have gotten caught up in something. This also could mean that this person was keeping their self restricted. Being, you know, thinking negative about the situation. But um, they could have went to jail. And they felt trapped. But it was some type of trickery caused for that person to be in this Eight of Swords energy. And this could have been because this person had some type of emotions for you and another person knew. Yeah, this was definitely like a secret. And whatever was done in secret, it was meant to confuse that person, keep that person in the Eight of Swords, you know, thinking negative. They're never going to get out of this situation. They just feel trapped. Um, trying to figure out why was this happening to them. You know, just this victim mentality type of behavior. And this was to, you know, keep that person stuck in that situation and everything else that they were attached to, they, they would feel like they needed to stay binded to. This was a trap that somebody did in secret. This was like a one-upping. Five of Wands is here. Somebody was jealous, secretly competing with that person, or they're just, you know... One up that person to send chaos to that person, negativity to that person to keep them stuck. It's like they knew that that person was destined to do something and um, they were trying to cause trickery to keep them stuck, confused. Nine of Cups. Yeah, and throughout this entire time, this person has been praying, they've been wishing um, for something to end or to get out of this situation that they, you know, didn't expect to go through. It's like they walked into something blinded and then they felt stuck. They felt trapped. They've been praying. It's like you're this person's wish fulfillment and somebody knew and they did not want this person to like come towards you. The chariot is here, yeah, but it's like they're moving forward. They've moved on. They found out the truth. The truth came out. And it has helped that person make some type of movement. I keep hearing confirmation. It's like they prayed for the confirmation. They received the confirmation, and now they're moving forward. This person definitely made some type of promise. If they were praying, um, if the truth came out, they would make some type of change. They would take control of a situation. Yeah, and, um, you know, depart from whatever this was. Get out of whatever the cycle is that they were in. You have the high priestess and then judgment is here. Then the strength card is here. Yeah, this person is this person made a final decision to um this person could be viewing you as this high priestess. You're someone that's very intuitive. Um you have high morals. And they also could look at you as someone that knows a lot of sacred knowledge. You've waken up to your inner calling. It's like you're in a total new phase than what you were in when you last was attached to that person or talked to that person spoke to that person you gained a lot of strength you've grown a lot and they could have felt like whoever you are as a person was hidden they could feel that you're very mysterious but you're very intuitive you're definitely somebody that's an influencer and um This person didn't know any of this. It's like they, they, they've been praying because you're their wish fulfillment. And um, they feel like their dreams are coming true. Like something is coming true to them, for them. Nine of Pentacles. And then Ten of Swords. Seven of Swords. 
Yeah, it's like somebody was definitely out to get this person. They could have been watching you, Page of Swords, trying to figure out how can they can distract you, distract that person, because that person severed ties with them. Like they knew this would be like something that was going to end out. And as I said, they could have been very codependent to that person. Whoever this energy is, they could have some type of addiction. And um, they would do anything to get whatever it is that they're addicted to. They intentionally caused some type of betrayal to that person. They were intentionally trying to cause harm or betrayal to you as well. To slow you down because they knew you were this person's wish fulfillment. But whatever they were trying to send at you, this backfired. Because whatever it is that you're doing, you were chosen to do this. Yeah, it backfired. It's like if they were trying to play in your energy, that was blocked off. You're protected. Yeah, this is sad. And it's like they did not expect for this person to make this change. They didn't expect for this person to find out the truth while they were in the Seven of Swords energy. Like being very strategic, very sneaky. They just knew they were going to get away with whatever they were doing. This didn't work. It only made this person, you know, make a final decision that they want growth. They want to change. 